The internal acoustic canal, you might remember this one from medical school, there's a, a, a way to learn this, which is seven up, coke down. If you're looking at the canal from, from a sagittal plane, the anterior aspect is here, posterior aspect here. The seventh cranial nerve, the facial nerve, is gonna be in that upper anterior quadrant. Cochlear division of the eighth nerve is gonna be in the, the lower anterior quadrant. And then the superior and inferior divisions of the vestibular nerve are gonna be out the back. And we can actually see those very, very well on MRI these days. So let's follow those now. So here we have the cochlea, cochlear aperture. So this one coming into it here is obviously the cochlear nerve. If we head up a little bit higher, head up higher that way, there's going to be a facial nerve coming along, heading between those two structures. And if we flip over into the sagittal plane, you can actually detect these four little nerves. They're tiny, but these days we can almost resolve that there's four separate nerves. So seven up, coke down to remember the arrangement of the nerves within the internal acoustic canal. Facial nerve, seventh cranial nerve, then passes through the petrous temporal bone and it's a great exam kind of question, this one. Uh, the mnemonic, I love going to makeover parties, which is true, um, <laughs> is going to help us remember the segments. We've already dealt with the intracranial or the cisternal segment. Now we're going to follow it through the petrous temporal bone itself. Again, zoom in. Here it is, starting here, going between the cochlea and the semicircular canals. This is the labyrinthine portion of the facial nerve. It gets to a little area here and expands a bit. That's the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve. And then it's going to run backwards, the tympanic portion, underneath the lateral semicircular canal. And then it's going to descend through the mastoid portion. And then it's going to come out through the stylomastoid foramen out into the parotid gland. Have a look at it in the coronal plane. Let me orientate myself. So here it is in the internal acoustic canal. It's going to start here. It's going to come forward to the genu. Then it's going to start heading backwards and it's going to run underneath that lateral semicircular canal. So that's the lateral semicircular canal. That's the facial nerve. And then it's going to dive down in the mastoid portion and come out the style of mastoid foramen. Now, you're going to need to practice that a lot if you want to be able to trace the facial nerve. So on the website, Matt Skalski's made this scrollable one where it points out the facial nerve in lots of different planes. So um, spend some time familiarising yourself with that. Once the facial nerve gets out into the parotid gland, it then has multiple branches. I remember from medical school, tall Zulus bear many children for the temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular and cervical branches. On our website, there's lots more options. I like this one. Two zombies buggered my cat. Which is a. <laughs> so I think I'm going to remember that one from now on. <laughs>